Hi, hello, Michelle with Dreaming English, and today I'm going to tell you a story about gypsy moth caterpillars, which um, at the beginning of the summer I had them all in my pool. I would, this, here's one here, and I would pull out about, I don't know, maybe like 20 a day of these things. Now they seem to be all gone. But anyway, I'm going to tell you a story about those and how they were all over in my childhood, all over the playgrounds and everywhere. So, don't forget to watch Rochelle's new coming out story of the Gypsy Moth Caterpillars. A story written by Miss Rochelle, based off a true story. And we hope you enjoy. Thank you. All right. This is Rochelle with Dreaming English. And today I'm gonna to tell you a story that happened to me when I was in first grade. So I was in school, and when I was in school, it was time for recess. And so we were all sitting in our chairs. And here's me sitting in my chair. And it was time for recess, and the teacher said, we can go outside. But she said, don't touch anything on the playground because she told, she told us that there were all these caterpillars. So this is the playground with swings. And she told us, don't touch anything because there was a whole bunch of little caterpillars. And they were little caterpillars and all of these caterpillars were all over the playground equipment. And she said, if we touch them, that we would get a rash and we would be all itchy. So she said, don't touch those caterpillars. Well, that summer, where I live, in the United States, I live in the United States, and I actually live, I live in Massachusetts. That summer, that summer, we got these gypsy moth caterpillars, and there were tons of them. So they were, at first they were little, little tiny things. Just so, so tiny, you could hardly see them. But then they grew, and they grew, and they grew. So that way, if it was a person standing here, there was the caterpillar, pretty big. And they were covering, they were covering everything. If there was a white house, so say that my house was white. Okay. So these little caterpillars, these little caterpillars, they got bigger. At first they were just really, really, really tiny, 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 and then they grew, they got bigger and bigger and bigger. And remember my teacher said, she said, don't touch them, don't touch them, because they'll give you a rash. But these things, they got bigger and bigger and bigger, and they were tons of them, all over, all over our state of Massachusetts, tons of them. And if you had a white house, like my grandmother's house was white, They would cover it all, and the house would look brown. And my grandmother, she would end up using, she would use a broom. She would use a broom to sweep all these little caterpillars away. So she would, she would, sweep, the, she would sweep them away. Well, these caterpillars, what they did that summer, is they, we had our trees. So what they did was they, we had our trees. Whoa. Erase, erase the student here. And these little caterpillars, they would climb up the trees. So they would climb up the trees and then they would eat they would eat all the leaves. So the leaves were like this. 
and they would eat. They would eat all those leaves. So then, then the trees. would look like this. They would have no leaves. And this happen, this happened in the springtime and in the summer. So we lost all of our leaves. Well, these caterpillars, as I said, they were everywhere. They were all over the houses, they were over the roads, so I'm gonna erase our school right now. And they were on our roads, and there's a car. And another car. But these caterpillars, they were all over the place. So sometimes when you were driving, they got the caterpillars got squished and the, the car, the car driving, oh, zigzag because the road was all wet. Well, when I was a kid, I always wanted to have a pet. I wanted to have a cat because I loved cats. But I was not allowed to have a pet because we lived in an apartment building. The first floor of an apartment building my mom, and there was no pets. Pets were not allowed. So I decided that maybe there were all these caterpillars everywhere that I would get a plastic container and I would pick up the caterpillars. So I would, I would pick them up and I would put them, the little caterpillars, and then I would take some grass or some leaves there's grass that's growing here. So I would, I would pick up the grass and I'd put some grass in there. And I took that container and I brought it to school. This picture of my grandmother's house and me. And here's me. The container is actually smaller than that. Let's make a smaller container. caterpillars and some grass and I brought it to school so I went to I went to school inside inside the school I was sitting inside the school and here's my desk and here's my teacher And there's a chalkboard and she's writing. So in my school, and I went into the school, and I put the container, I put it inside the desk. And this desk opened up. It, opened, it had an opening. So you sat at the desk. And here's the legs. But this part was open, so I could put things in here. So I put my little container, the little caterpillars. But then I took the container out to, to look at the caterpillars and I took the lid off. So I took the lid off and here's the lid. And so what happened after is that these little caterpillars, I put the, I put the container back in the desk and these little caterpillars, they crawled out. And they crawled out. And they crawled out. So here's the little caterpillars, little caterpillars, and little caterpillars. And then my teacher looked and she saw those caterpillars on the floor. See that maybe you close. She could see those on the floor. And she's like, ah! And she said, who? why are these caterpillars on the floor? Like, pick them up and throw them, throw them away in the trash. And I was like, no, those are my pets. 
And she was like, what, your pets? I said, yeah, see, I showed her, I showed her my container with my caterpillars, with my little pets, they had names. They were Charlie and Sandy and such. I'm like, you can't throw them away. And she's like, oh no, we can't have caterpillars inside. So that was the end of my, end of my pet caterpillars. But that summer, that summer was a very unusual summer. And we just, those caterpillars, they just ate all the leaves. And people tried to keep the caterpillars from eating, so they would put a special, a special sticky tape on the trees that would try to keep the caterpillars from getting. But what ended up happening is that these caterpillars, they climbed up, they climbed up. Some of them got stuck, so they got stuck and they couldn't move. Like, they could not move. But what ended up happening is that all these caterpillars are stuck to the tape, and then caterpillars climbed over and climbed over and climbed over. And then they started eating, and then we again had trees with no leaves. Fortunately, that only happened about one, one summer. So this happened in about May, June, July, August. So it was one, one year, it was a whole year, and this actually happened in this time, but it only happened one time. We still have these caterpillars, and you can see a picture of them right up here, but we don't get as many, fortunately. So I want to thank LTV for letting us use their studio, and I want to thank Pablo from Dreaming Spanish for inspiring us. You can find a link to his show below. If you have some ideas for future stories, please let me know in the comments below, and please subscribe to our channel and like it, and d ding the notification button. Thank you. I've just been cleaning the pool and I pulled out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them out of my pool. So yeah, I think they're coming to haunt me.